hold it serious because I, I not serious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carla Persky, a research scientist at UCF's Coastal and Estuarine Ecology Lab, and this is my research in 60 seconds. Did you know seagrass existed alongside the dinosaurs? These ancient plants have colonized the sea at least three times and survived mass extinction. And they may help coastal ecosystems adapt as our planet continues to evolve. Seagrasses are marine flowering plants and their seeds can lay buried in the sediment for many years, waiting for the right conditions to grow again. Like all plants, environment and temperature impacts growth. To determine if heat waves were happening in the Indian River Lagoon, I analyzed data from 2014 to 2024, focusing on frequency, duration, and intensity. My findings showed declining trends in duration and intensity despite La Nina, or cooling periods, and El Nino, or warming periods. During the worst marine heat wave in the winter of 2020, which lasted 19 days, seagrass communities suffered significant losses due to heat. So that's why we are simulating rain heat waves in the lab, exposing these seagrasses to different temperatures to see how they respond at the molecular level. By unlocking how seagrasses can survive the heat, we can protect our coastal ecosystems and restore our underwater lungs for generations to come. And that was my research in 60 seconds.